Hey guys, how's it going? The Music Vlogger here, back with another video. And today, we're going to be looking at an awesome, awesome budget piece of acoustic guitar paraphernalia. I was having a conversation with one of my buddies who's also a musician. His name's Kai. I doubt he's watching this, but shout out to Kai. And we were talking, and I told him, you know, I got a new uh, guitar strap. That's what we're talking about today, as you know from the title. And he's like, bro, that's sick. It's like a whole new guitar. And that's totally true. Moving from, hang on one sec, from this, moving from this kind of guitar strap, which is just like <sighs> nasty fabric, moving from this to um, leather is such a major improvement. By the way, shout out to uh, Diet Caffeine Free Soda. I appreciate your existence. Also, the thing you want to see, the guitar strap. You know, I think this would be a great time to implement B-roll footage. Yeah, let's just stick some in right here. So this guitar strap is apparently leather, it kind of smells leather, it's hard to tell because manufacturers will trick you by spraying a leather cologne on it. But it kind of seems like it's leather, maybe? Yeah, it kind of seems like it's leather. And then um, something I've never seen on a strap before is it has a pick holder. Um, so I'm able to fit six picks in there, which is actually really nice. So you know, I'll be sitting playing guitar with my strap on right here. And let's say I want to pick. I can just, let's see, zoom in a bit here. Yeah, so say I want a pick, I can just grab one from right there. And then there's also one on the other side. Doesn't get in the way at all. Does not make it uncomfortable. Oh, you okay? Oh no. What have I done? Everything's okay, we're good. I'm transferring a bunch of files, don't worry about it. The actual portions that clip into your guitar, like nooks and knobs and, you know, this, they feel tight and secure. It was kind of challenging to get it on there, so if this is a strap you're wanting to purchase to move between instruments, you're gonna have a challenge doing that in the beginning until you loosen up the leather. But it's really secure. I don't feel like I need any strap locks or anything. And, you know, getting this new strap has really got me back into the guitar again. And I never left the guitar per se. I never abandoned it. I never stopped playing, but I played like four or five hours today. Like it just, if you have a couple shekels, you might want to consider spending them on a cheap, cheap guitar strap. Link will be in the description and I'll comment it down below as well. If you buy one through my link, um, I'll get a small kickback. It won't make it more expensive for you, so don't worry. But yeah, I'm really happy with the strap. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's great, so I, I can't just finish the video there, of course, you know me, I'm the music vlogger, so I need to make a song using acoustic guitar. Okay, I know you cannot hear what I'm hearing there. So I just finished recording guitar. I did three separate things and I want to show you guys real quick. So I started with a guitar that had a delay on it in order to get like the chord progression that I wanted. So here's that. I'll show you. So there's that. 
And then I went with a guitar, same guitar, acoustic guitar, running through a pedal. And this, this patch had, it was like an incubus sort of a sound. Just arpeggiating. And then I soloed over it with a, a vibrato, a tremolo sound. Right there. And then I'm going to record some drums and some bass over it and we will have a track. Bass. All right, and then let's layer some hi-hat over that just real quick here. Do a beat repeat and I straighten those eighths out. All right, that will work. I'll probably tweak that a little bit, but there we have bass and drums. Let's listen how this all sounds together here. Might be a bit loud. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 ooh, oh, ooh, oh. So basically, that was a cool trick. So what I did is I recorded audio, and you can see it right down here. What I'm going to do, create a MIDI track. This is super simple. Create a MIDI track, go instruments up here, and you're going to grab simpler and then drop the audio right there what we can do come over here click slice and now we can define the entrances so basically I can make each of those weird things that I did a note on my keyboard and then play it all sliced up you'll see yeah, oh, oh, ooh, oh. All right, let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. That sucked. Okay. Try again here. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 oh, oh. And finally, we just need to tweak the reverb and the vocal on that. So we'll time lapse that, of course. That's it. Song is completed. It's a simple song, guys. It's not some crazy music thing. It's just a backing beat, and I had fun making it. So that's what matters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, if you'd consider subscribing because because I am on this YouTube grind. I want to be a full-time YouTuber so bad. I'm making videos like every day. And on that note also, let me know if there's anything you want me to make videos on or if there's anything I can be doing better to better service you. So um, I appreciate you guys watching this. Hit the like button if you feel like it. Hit the dislike button if you feel like it. And uh, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.